Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some simple form when you're going to work out and things like that. So there's some uh, exercises that you can do as basketball players that are very prevalent in the basketball space that can help you become a better basketball player. So today I'm just going to go over that very quickly. So first off we're going to start with our legs. So I'm going to back up so that you're able to see my legs. and. First is squats, and squats, pretty much every basketball player does them. Uh, generally speaking, if you want to jump higher, you will really want to be able to do them at, at, at the very most every other day. You don't want to go any more than that. Now, first off, you never want to do the same workout two days in a row. Uh, you want your muscles to, uh, to recover. Um, basically, when you're working out, when you're lifting weights, uh, your muscles are going to be tearing, and when they uh, repair themselves, they repair themselves bigger, which is why you get bigger muscles when you're working out. And the reason why they get bigger is because they don't want to tear so that when you're working out, you can lift more and more and more weights. And this goes the same as when you're playing basketball, you can jump higher, faster, you run faster, you can drive on players faster, things like that. So what you want to do in a squat is to have your feet shoulder width apart. You want to be looking straight ahead and you want to be going back on your heels and squatting back. You want your shoulders to be back and your knees to be behind your toes so that when you're going down, it should look just like that. Then you can go into squat jumps, same form. You wanna keep your back straight, and then you wanna jump up, always looking forward. Then from there, you wanna do the same idea, but with lunges. Lunges, again, are very prevalent in basketball. So you wanna take a step ahead, and when you put your, your back knee down to the ground, you want it to almost touch the ground, keep your front knee behind your toe and back up. You want your shoulders to be right in line with the middle of your, your body. So if you picture a line going right down, you want them to be right down and then back up. You can go into lunge jumps as well. Same idea, keeping your back straight and you want your eyes, no matter what, to be looking straight ahead. It keeps your, your form a lot better. Now, if you were to have your, your knees go past your toes in a lunge or in a squat, you're now risking knee injuries. If your back isn't straight, you're now risking back injuries. So make sure that your form is exactly how you, uh, exactly like this, so that you're not creating injuries for yourself because we all wanna be playing basketball more and longer without having injuries. Okay, so now going into our upper body. So with our upper body, when we are working out, we don't want to go into any, uh, any straight arms. So what we call it is uh, just hyperextending, whatever it may be. You always want to have your arms a bit bent. You don't want to go totally straight because that's not really doing anything. You want to be a little bit bent like that and up now this is a bicep curl so just all the way up as far as you can go and back down to almost straight you don't want to do any of these halves or any of these halves because some I've, I've seen trainers say oh yeah you're building this part of the muscle you're building that part of the muscle yeah yeah you you could be but in reality are you just going to be using this part of the muscle or are you going to be using this whole part of the muscle it gives you a better workout for one, but for two, you want to work the whole muscle because when in ever are you ever going to be just doing half movements like that. So keep that in mind. Next is tricep extensions. Now, you would normally do this with resistance bands. You could do this with a big weight system. But when you're doing the tricep extensions, tricep is the muscle in the back of your arm. You're going to be starting all the way up and going almost all the way down. The reason why you don't want to go all the way straight is because now you're creating a possibility for an injury. The reason why you, uh, the reason why that could be causing a possible injury is if you're, if you are lifting a lot of weight and you go straight, that could now bend your arm backwards. And that hurts. That's obviously an injury, a major injury at that point. I've seen so many. When I used to work at the YMCA in Burlington, I've seen so many people who did the bench press. 
they went straight arms or even dumbbell press. I've seen it a few times with that too, where they're doing like a hundred pound dumbbell press. They're going straight arms. And I seen actually somebody's arm bend backwards the other way. It wasn't pretty. One of the trainers there who I, uh, who I seen, she tore her rotator cuff because she was doing too much weight for one, but because she wasn't working on the, the muscles to stabilize her arm from going backwards. And because she was just focusing on one single muscle group and she wasn't focusing on her whole shoulder, when she lifted too much of a weight, it didn't matter that she had a spotter. The spotter didn't help her. Her arm went back all the way and bent all the way back and she tore her shoulder apart. So making sure that you're, you're working out all the muscles around your body and not just a single, hey, I wanna build my chest. I wanna get chests like Arnold Schwarzenegger and you start like bench pressing every single day you're not working all the other muscles. So yes, I, I did do some silly things when I was younger. I did, uh, I did bench press for 365 days in a row. I wanted to challenge myself. Of course, that's not good for yourself. I was like 17, 16, somewhere around there. It's not good for yourself, but I was at the same time still working out all the muscles around the whole area. So I was working on lat raises. I was working on elevated chest press. I was working on, again, 90 degrees for this exercise, straight up, not totally straight, and back down. So you never wanna move out of your range of motion. So those back pull downs, what you see, where people are pulling down and they'll have the big bar going across and they'll have the big bar pulling down and what you're supposed to do is have it go down to your chest and back up. But what I see so many people do is put it behind their head. When are you ever going to be putting weight behind your head? That is extremely bad for your body and it does not do this does not work out anything that would be useful for you and it can cause injury. Anytime you're out of your range of motion, you are causing possible injuries. If you have had knee, in, uh, knee surgeries, and let's say you can't bend past a certain amount, don't be trying to force yourself past that amount if you're lifting weights. Now it's okay to force yourself, try and force yourself past that point if you're not working out, if you're not lifting weights, if you're on the couch and you're just recovering from that surgery and you're trying to get back your range of motion, Yes, you can do that, but don't be doing that with weight. It is extremely dangerous. So just the basic rules to take away from this video is never, if you, like, never fully extend your body. So if you're doing a squat with weight, you never wanna to go totally straight with your legs because that can cause injury. Your knee could bend backwards and that's not good. And then, you never want to go out of your range of motion. You never want to bring weight behind your head. That ain't doing anything for you. That's extremely dangerous. And if a trainer tells you to do that, find another trainer because anytime it's out of your range of motion, it's extremely dangerous. Anyways, I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.